It's masala time. Welcome back to the Masala Man Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make three easy at home masala blends. If you don't know what the word masala means, it essentially just means a mix of spices that are used in Indian and South Asian cuisine all across the world. Today we're making garam masala, chaat masala, and a madras masala. For our garam masala, I'm going to add 20 grams of coriander seeds, 10 grams of cumin seeds, 2 grams of fennel seeds, 3 grams of cinnamon sticks, 2 grams of cloves, 2 grams of cardamom pods, and 2 grams each of the following spices. I'm going to lightly toast these till fragrant and then add them to a spice grinder to cool. And once your spice is cool, you're going to go ahead and run them through the spice grinder. As you can see, the nutmeg did not fully grind all the way through, so we're just going to run it again until we get a fine powder, just like you. All right, all right, so this garam masala is looking nice and fine, so we're going to go ahead and grab a piece of parchment paper, and we're also going to grab a sieve or a food strainer. We're going to pass that garam masala through the sieve until we get a fine, but still kind of chunky powder. This garam masala is perfect with kormas, sweet potatoes, and meats. Now it's time for that funky fresh chopped masala. 20 grams of cumin seeds, 10 grams of coriander seeds, and 5 grams of dried red chilies. And now we're going to toast this bad boy. And remember to always check with your sense of smell because the worst spices are burnt spices. We're then going to take this off the heat and let it cool and then add it back into our spice grinder and then add in 9 grams of black pepper, 2 grams of kasuri maitha leaves, 9 grams of black salt, 2 grams of citric acid, 10 grams of umchur powder, which is mango powder, and then blend that bad boy again. You're then ready to repeat the first process which we did, which is pull out your parchment paper, grab your food strainer or your sieve, and pass that chopped masala through. We're going to repeat this step twice because we want a super fine powder with our chopped masala. And now this funky fresh chopped masala is ready to be served on popcorn, your favorite salad, and yes, even some juices. For the madras masala, we're going to add 35 grams of coriander seeds, 7 grams of cloves, fennel seeds, cinnamon sticks, and peppercorns. 15 grams of dried red chilies for some heat and lightly toast till fragrant. We're then going to add in 30 grams of turmeric and grind till fine. If you ever find that the pieces are not fully grinding, just stop what you're doing, pull it out, break up the spices that aren't grinding, and then throw it back in and then repeat the process. You got this. And since you're now an expert, we're going parchment paper to the sieve to a fine powder like you. This madras masala goes perfectly with your favorite kura and as a dry rub. And remember to practice safe spicing. Because these spices are only going to last three to six months, so we want to store them in an airtight container and store them in a cool, dark place. These tips are in my last video, Spiceology 101. If you made it this far, this is the part of the video where I tell you to leave a like and subscribe for more Indian inspired food stories and content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd love to hear from you as well. Which masala blend are you most excited to use in your kitchen in the next couple of weeks or even this week? Remember, the full ingredient list is listed below, so be sure to download that. And remember, life's better with more masala. We'll see you next time. Peace.